Hi guys, what is up? For this look, I'm going to be mainly focusing all on my eyes. So to start out, I'm using the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. And for my crease shade, I'm going to be mixing together Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. I'm not going for a really cut crease look today. So it's okay if you are a little bit messier in these steps. Um, it will give it that really sexy, smoky look towards the end. For the outer V, I'm going to be using the colors Red Ochre and Love Letter. I was really keen on mixing together a bunch of different colors for this look. I guess because I just couldn't decide because I just love every color in the stamp palette. Um, <laughs> for the lid, I'm going to be taking the color Venati in Red. I believe that's how you say it. And I'm just going to be packing this all on the lid. And for the outer V, I'm going to be taking... Um, first, I started out with a big fluffy brush. And then I realized that I really wanted to be a little bit more precise for this step. So I did move over to a pencil brush. I'm taking the color Cypress Umber and just really making that V a little bit more defined. Um, on a clean brush, I'm going to be taking a little bit um, of the Real Gar color. And I'm just going to really use this a little bit more and really give it that blown out effect. So I'm taking this pretty high up to the brow bone just because I do want that really sexy blown out effect that I was talking about before. To highlight my brow bone though, I'm going to be using the color Tempura. Tempura? Tempura? <laughs> oh my god, I suck at saying names. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be using that to highlight my brow bone. I'm um, taking the Marc Jacobs Gel Eye Crayon Eyeliner in the color black. I'm just really going to be drawing that as close to my lash line as I can just to really hide the band of the lashes later and to really um, create that smoky effect on the lash line. I'm just going to be taking a pencil brush and really smoking that out. Before moving on to lashes, I'm just going to be taking that big brush again and I'm just going to blend everything together to make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything is really just sexy and blown out. Um, I'm just going to curl my lashes and I'm going to coat them with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And for lashes today, I'm going to be taking the Eyelore number 70 lashes. These lashes were literally so perfect for this look because they're so um, soft and give you that really sexy look that you're going for. They're not too dramatic, but they're also really going to intensify your lashes, your natural lashes. Um, for the lower lash line, I'm just going to be taking the exact same crease colors that I took before, the raw sienna and burnt orange, and I'm going to take that on my pencil brush. I'm just going to smoke out that lower lash line pretty heavily. I'm going to connect the lower lash line with the outer V with the color Cypress Umber that we used on the outer portion of our eye earlier. For the lower lashes, I'm going to be using the Pixie by Petra Lower Lash Mascara. Cosmo by Haley recommended this um, in one of her videos. She raved about it, so I had to go and get it. And you guys, this separates my lashes so perfectly. The little tiny brush gets every single tiny lash, and you don't have um, all that fallout, and the brush isn't too big, so it can really get in those tiny places. And I love the way it makes my eyelashes look. For the inner tear duct highlight, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Chemtrail. For my lips today, I'm going to line them with the Kylie Lip Liner in Dolce K. And for the color, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Lumiere. I really feel like glossy lips are really sexy, so I'm using the Trust Fund Beauty um, lip gloss in Method by Madness. I got it in my Ipsy bag. But um, yeah, so this is the final look. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you would like to see next. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.